financial distress costs and trade up theory. Although the tax benefit of debt will cause the value of a firm to increase as leverage is increased, this will only be true to a point since as leverage increases, so too does the likelihood of default. The cost of financial distress eventually becomes so great that it erodes the benefits of the tax shield, and firm value begins to decline. The implication is that there is an optimal debt level. Beyond this level, firm value declines because of the increased probability of default. Although the revised M&M &M theory was an improvement by virtue of it incorporating the tax benefits of debt, it still failed to address the costs of financial distress. Trade-off theory built upon M&M and, &M, and addressed the impact of financial distress on the capital structure decision. The underlying premise of trade-off theory is that a firm will identify an optimal target capital structure that they believe balances the benefits of the tax shield against the costs of financial distress. A number of dynamic trade-off theories emerged in the 1980s to support the empirical findings that despite the appearance of target capital structures, a firm's capital structure varies over time. They maintain that even though capital structure may diverge from a target, firms aim for a capital structure that they believe is optimal. Many forms of dynamic trade-off theories exist. Some attribute deviations from target levels of leverage to various exogenous factors including the accumulation of profits, investment expenditures, and changes in market prices. Others attribute the deviations to deliberate actions taken by managers to time the market. Dynamic trade-off theories often include considerations of transaction costs, and suggest that as capital structure fluctuates, managers will act to move the capital structure back toward a target structure only when the costs of not doing so exceed the transaction costs of rebalancing.